Hey guys, welcome back. So for today's video, I have this golden summer bronze look for you guys. I feel like this look is very appropriate for the summer. We have glow going on the eyes, a gloss on the lip, glowy skin. So yeah, I just decided to film this for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Do not forget to follow me on my Instagram. I will leave that linked on the screen and down below. Make sure you follow me there. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Bye guys. Okay, first let me pin back my hair. I've been getting a lot of questions on my hair on if I'm growing it out. And yeah, I am. I'm growing it out. I don't know how long. I'm sorry, I'm just drinking some of Dr. Pepper. But I am letting it grow out just because I feel like it fits me a little bit more. I've always liked longer hair because I have such a round, big face that it just all proportions it out. But yeah. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to moisturize your skin. Now, I know a lot of people say moisturizer in the summer. Why? If I just sweat and I just get oily myself. If you want a glow, you're going to have to moisturize because... If you just let your natural oils peek through, it's just going to look oily and greasy. And when you sweat, it's obviously hot. Like when you sweat, your sweat and your skin is hot. So it's going to basically melt off your makeup. Now when you moisturize your skin, it tells your, your oils or your face oils like, okay, you don't have to come through because there's moisturizer on the face, you know? So it makes your face not get oily. And I know a lot of my friends, whenever I do their makeup, they're like, oh my god, do not put moisturizer on. I'm so oily. No, like, this literally helps it keep it under control. Oh yeah, also, I got a, a ring light. So I have two soft boxes and then a ring light. So I don't know if it's better. I can't really tell until I export the footage, but hopefully it's better. Once I've done that, I'm just going to spray some primer water. This is by Smashbox. I haven't used this in a minute. <clears throat> okay, so while that's drying, I'm gonna go ahead and talk to you guys about the two primers that I will be using today. The first one is the Becca Backlight um, Priming Filter, and then the next one is the Kevin Aquan The Essential Skin Liquid Lighting. This is way more intense than this. This is an actual primer. This is just like a liquid illuminator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to prime my face with this, and then I'm just going to add this on my cheeks. So I'm just going to let this dry, and then I'll be doing that. Okay, so after that's dry, I'm going to go in with the Becca primer first. And I'm just going to put this basically all over my face. Ooh, this smells really good. This is one of the new products that I got yesterday. Why is there always somebody outside my house? So then now I'm going to go in with the Kevin Aquan Liquid Illuminator. This is very intense, guys. So I'm going to take about two pumps, like little pumps, mix them together, and then just pop them on my cheeks, on my chin, and on my forehead. So after that, I'm going to go in with my foundation. I'm going to be mixing two, just because I like the coverage on this, but I like the finish of this one. So I'm going to be mixing the Too Faced Born This Way with the Milani Conceal Imperfect. Notice how I didn't use a pore primer, just because a lot of the times those primers tend to mattify your skin. So I'm just going to go in with the brush first, and then obviously I'm going to pounce the beauty blender on top like I always do. So after you look like a pancake and your foundation is all on, you want to go in with your concealer. I am using a serum concealer just because once again I don't want my face to like matte and dry so I'm going to be using the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum Concealer in Medium Golden. And 
this is also a new product that I got yesterday. Now because it is summer, I am going to be baking underneath my eyes, um, so I'm just taking my Laura Mercier with my Beauty Blender, and I'm going to be baking. Alright, now for the remainder of my face, I'm going to take this powder puff from Laura Mercier that I got yesterday and some of that loose powder and I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold the powder puff like that take some of that powder and just set my teeth on So then now I'm going to be taking my face powder, which is my MAC, Fi my MAC Studio Fix, and I'm going to be setting my eyelids, just because I did prime them with the foundation. I'm going to let this bake, and I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows. Now for my eyebrows, I'm using two of my Anastasia pencils, one in dark brown and one in ebony, and I'll be right back. So I'm done doing my eyebrows, now I'm going to go ahead and set underneath my eyebrows um, because I did carve them out and I'm going to be using Vanilla Bean from Makeup Week. And I'm going to be setting my face with the Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in Medium Dark by MAC. Just because I don't want a super matte Finish. I'm gonna go in with caramelized from Morphe and I'm just going to be putting this in my crease And then I'm taking a clean brush and I'm just blending out all those edges. Now I'm going to go in with Trouble, also by Morphe, and I'm going to put this in my outer V and into my crease. So I'm putting that kind of messily and then I'm going to go in with my blending brush and blend that out. So after that, I'm going to go in with this shade right here from Morphe also, and this is called Granite. And then we're going to go into the Carly Bible palette, and we're going to take the last highlighting shade, which is this beauty right here and we're just gonna pop that on top and this is what's really gonna add that golden bronze look So then now for the lower lash line, I'm going to be taking Spice and Chickadee 
Spices by Morphe, Chickadee is the top one by Makeup Geek. Mixing those together and putting those on my lower lash line. With the smaller brush, I'm gonna go in with this shade by Morphe. This is Golden Glory. I always use that. And this does have shimmer. And I don't really do this, but I am going to put that down here. For the inner corner, I'm taking this shade um, from the Carly Bible palette. For mascara, I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Now because we are going for that glow look, I'm going to mix the MAC Gold Deposit and the Hourglass Ambient Bronzer in Radiant Bronze just to give me a very dewy glow. I'm going to go ahead and contour and I'm going to be taking the shade Blunt and Sculpt and I'm just going to be bronzing my cheeks with this. I mean contouring my cheeks with this. For blush I'm using the Anastasia Contouring Kit and I'm mixing the first and the last shade. For highlighter, I'm taking my Milani Tantastic Highlighter and I'm just putting this on my cheeks. I'm going to take my Tarte Skin Twinkle Palette and my Tarte Brush and I'm going to be taking the first and the last shade. Now I'm taking my Hard Candy Tiki Bronzer, which is a highlighter, and I'm just putting this on my forehead, down my nose, Cupid's well. So for lips, I'm going in with my MAC World Lip Liner and lining my lips. And then for lip gloss, I'm going in with the NYX Butter Gloss in Tiramisu. So this is the final look guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you try out this look. Also leave down below some makeup tutorials that you want to see so I can be inspired and film those. Also if you want to see another type of video leave that down below. Just leave all your video suggestions down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Bye guys!